Hello, I'm Kurshid, a cloud support engineer here at AWS Office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your secondary network interface work in your Ubuntu Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. Let's get started. In this video, I'll show you how to configure Ubuntu 16.04 and Ubuntu 22.04 EC2 instances to use a secondary network interface. First, make sure that you added a secondary network interface to your Ubuntu EC2 instance. Next, you must configure the routing table and set up the rules in the custom routing table policy database so that traffic for the secondary interface uses the new routing table. This step isn't necessary if you're using Ubuntu 24.04 because it handles advanced configuration automatically. Please note, make sure you have already attached the secondary network interface to your EC2 instance. First, log in into the AWS Management Console and navigate to Amazon EC2. Under Details, find the information related to your subnet ID. Note it because we will use it later. Next, let's connect to your instance using SSH, PuTTY, or SSM. For this video, I'm using SSH to connect to the instance. The steps you take to make the secondary network interface work varies with different Ubuntu version. First, let's set this up for Ubuntu 16.04. These are the same steps that can be used for both Ubuntu 14.04 and Ubuntu 16.04. After we connect the Ubuntu EC2 instance, let's run this command. The output shows us the name of the primary network interface and is similar to this. Note that in this example, the primary interfaces are named ENS5, ENS6, and so on. However, for instances that do not support enhanced networking, you might see a naming inconsistency, where the interfaces are named as ETH0 and ETH1. Next, let's create the network configuration file for the secondary network interface. Change the ENS6 to match your secondary network interface. In this example, we are using a single IP address 172.31.36.141 with a gateway of 172.31.32.1 on the secondary interface. Replace the sample IP address and the gateway with your own information. Your gateway must be the first valid IP address in your subnet. Next. Let's create a restrict default gateway file. This file prevents the default gateway from being overwritten on the main table. Add these lines to this file. Make sure you replace ENS5 with your primary interface name. Restart the network using the following command. Because we are using Ubuntu 16.04, let's run this command. If you're using Ubuntu 14.04, you must run this command to restart the network. Next, let's configure the same settings for Ubuntu 22.04. The steps involved here can be used on 18.04, 20.04, and 22.04. After you connect to your Ubuntu EC2 instance, run this command. Replace the eth1 with your secondary interface name. This command creates a configuration file for a secondary network interface. After the file is created, we can configure it by adding these lines to the file. Replace the sample information with content specific to your use case. The sample YAML file configures two IP addresses on ETH1, the secondary network interface. Let's go to the EC2 console to find the CIDR range to use in the YAML file. Let's select the instance we want to configure. In the Networking Information tab, scroll to Network Interfaces and then note the subnet ID of the secondary network interface. Next, let's go to the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud Console and select Subnets. Note the IPv4 CIDR range listed for the subnet ID. Finally, to apply the network configuration, let's run the command. And now you know 
how to make your secondary network interface work in your Ubuntu EC2 instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.